In this blog, we're going to be taking a look at some more new functionality, which has been recently added to Fusion 360. We've now got a new tool for creating fasteners, which is the insert fastener tool. When we pick on this, we can choose whether we're working with these different standards. So ANSI, ASME, BS, DIN, ISO, GIS, and NF and we can choose same between English and metric. In this particular instance, I've got it set to ISO and I've got it set to metric. And we can see here that we've got bolts and screws. And we've got all these different options available here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go socket head. I'm gonna go for that option there, hex socket head cap. Once we do that, then we get this dialogue up here. So if I click on this, Place here that will position it concentrically and then what I can do then is I can position the face down to the inside face of the counterball like so. So what I'm going to do here is automatically pick up the size based on the size that was originally created using the whole tool on the component that we're attaching it to. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pick the length of the bolt you can see Bolt length has shown. We can pick different materials that the bolt can on. We can also choose different finishes as well. Also, as well, give it a number. Do is we can click on create and continue. And that then will create a sub bolt. Okay. So as we said, we can also come into here as well and go to insert. They so come into here then and go washer. And we'll put the same washer in. And as soon as you hover over the bolt, you can see straight away that it's picked up the size. And then we can just click the face it's going to be attached to. Go in and okay. and what stars to choose from. What we can again do here is we can hover over the actual thread of the bolt. And then click on the top face vent of the washer and then that will go in and position that every time we create a new fastener it is contained inside of a new fastener folder in the model browser you found this blog useful if you've got any further questions please don't hesitate to get in contact with us thanks a lot for your time